Hey everyone, welcome back to the revamp to discord.py series. In this episode we will go over how to use cogs as well as some basic welcome things. Before we continue this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Like, imagine being one of the 86% of nerds that aren't subscribed to me. Also, be sure to join the discord with the link in the description. Anyways, let's get started. One quick thing before we start making cogs though. Please remember, discord.py is an advanced Python library. If you do not know basic Python, I highly recommend go learn some basic Python and then come back to this video. It will make things a lot easier for you in the long run. With that said, let's go back to our main bot file we created in the last episode. Underneath where we defined bot, we're going to create a new list. I'm going to name this list initial extensions. We want to do initial extensions equals and then just a blank list for now. Now under this list, we're going to add an if statement. You will want to do what I do here for this if statement. Once you type in this if statement, then you will want to do for extension in initial extensions. And that will allow us to run the next bit of code for every cog that we add later on. Now do try bot.load underscore extension extension, as well as accept exception as E print failed to load extension extension and make sure you use the F string there. Once you type that in, make sure you put file equals sys.stderr and then on the next line, traceback.print underscore exc. To get sys and traceback, you'll just want to import sys and import traceback at the top of your code. Now we want to make a new folder. I'm gonna call mine cogs. The name doesn't really matter, so you can name it whatever you want. In this folder, we want to make our first cog file. To do this, just make a Python file and give it a name. I'm naming mine example.py, just to keep things simple. Once you've made your folder and file, go back to your main file where we made that list. You will need to add this file into that list by telling it the folder and then the file name. Mine, for example, would be cogs.example. This will allow the code that we wrote to load into this file. Let's go into the new file now. Getting our cogs up and running is not that hard. And using cogs is extremely helpful for organization as well as just making your code neater. So first, let's import our imports from the last video. Once you've done that, we're going to be making a class. So let's do class and then the name of your class, commands.cog. You can name this whatever you want, Mine is just going to be example. Now we need to do def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and then self bot args and kw args. And in that def, we will also define self dot bot is equal to bot. We will be going over in depth about all the events that we can use in the next episode. But to just give you an example of how events are used in a cog, We'll make an extremely basic welcome event here. To use an event in a cog, you will need to do at commands.cog with a capital C dot listener. This will allow events to work. Next do async def on member join self and member. In a cog, you always have to put self in the event or the command. This event here will run every time a member joins any server that the bot is in. For this example, we are just going to pretend that this bot is only in one server. Next, we will want to grab a channel to send the message to. To do that, simply do channel equals self.bot.get channel and then the channel ID. This will get the channel and allow us to use it. Notice how I did self.bot instead of just bot. If you're in a cog, you must use self.bot, unlike if you're in the main file where you can just use bot. Now once you have the channel, we just want to do await channel.send and then we'll just say welcome to the server member.mention and make sure you put an f before your text there. That's going to be called an f string. That way you're able to do things a little easier within that string. And by us doing channel.send, that will send the message directly to the channel that we specified instead of just sending it to where like a command was sent. Now to do commands in a cog, it's also a little bit different. To start the command off, unlike in the main file where you would do bot.command, in a cog you will want to do at commands.command. 
and then the rest of your command stuff just like normal. I'm going to make a pong command. So I will do async def pong self and ctx. Notice how I added self here just like I did with the event that we coded. Now we will just do await ctx.send and the message will just be ping. And that's going to be the end of that command. You may be thinking, hey, the cog's done now, right? No, you're wrong. It's missing one key thing. We're going to do at the bottom of the cog file now, outside of the class that we made earlier, and we're going to add a def. So you're going to be doing def, setup, and bot. And then add bot.addcog, the name of your class, and then bot. Then just to tell us that the cog is loaded, we will do print the name of your class is loaded. And that's it, your first cog is done. The next time that you start up your bot file, you still just start it up like we did in the last episode, it will automatically load in that cog file now. And all the commands and events will just automatically go into place. If you're still watching this video, thank you for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate it. I just want to mention I do have a Patreon and a Twitter, both links in the description. Uh, I'm currently not getting paid by YouTube because their monetization numbers are just ridiculous. So any support is helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.